This is my 2007 Volvo XC70 X Ambulance that I bought off eBay. In this video, I'm going to continue the process of deambulancing it and putting it back on the road by removing the obvious ambulance stickers and everything else that glitters. Seems to me like I should be able to get these letters off without too much difficulty. Yeah, look at that. Well, the A is off. I think I'm just going to crack on with the rest and put you on time lapse or something like that. <laughs> Oh, there we go. That's the first bit of de-ambulancing that I've done. This other stuff is going to be rather interesting to... Oh, hello. Is that... Oh, no, that's sticky underneath. I don't want to do that. I need to get the heat gun out for that. I've just got that bit of ambulance to remove now. Well, there you go. All the ambulance lettering has been removed. So, step one of de ambulancing the ambulance is now complete. This reflective sticker is going to be my next challenge. process of removing all of this reflective vinyl otherwise known as Battenberg from the ambulance and I have removed a strip over here and it has left some sticky residue behind. Now it seems possible that this stuff can be removed without leaving any residue behind. There's a little portion over here but Characteristically, it seems like this is what I'm going to be dealing with, trying to remove all of this Battenberg from the whole of the vehicle. So the usual suspects from past experience do not work with this kind of adhesive left behind. You know, WD-40, GT-85, brake cleaner, white spirits, all of those kinds of things. So after doing a little bit of research, I have decided to try tar and glue remover from Manol. I need to protect the bumper here because I don't want to soil this at all. And then I'm hopefully going to just be able to scrape it off. So that is my plan of action, but hopefully this is going to go according to plan. The first attempt at using the tar film remover is extremely good. It's uh, has taken off the glue completely up in this corner here and most of it down here. I'm trying not to damage the original decal and uh, working around this. But for the most part, I mean this side here, the, the glue is virtually gone. So I'm just going to crack on. One thing is for certain, you need to do this in a very well ventilated place. Pretty good. It 
came off very well with the uh, tar and glue remover. The only place where there are marks on the paintwork are where these black smudges are. Now, I don't know what that is, but it is different to the normal Battenberg reflective vinyl that's coming off. And wherever those black marks appeared, they are these scratches or kind of paint marks in the surface of the lacquer. I suspect that these might have been attempted repairs to stop the uh, reflective vinyl peeling off in these places and whatever was used has actually damaged the paint underneath. as one would expect, being on glass. a little bit as I've been progressing down the left hand side of the Volvo how best to remove this reflective vinyl otherwise known as Battenberg after the cake apparently I initially didn't make that connection because I didn't know there was a cake called Battenberg but anyway <laughs> to say this is extremely satisfying look at that glue that's just from that area there so this is the technique that I'm decided on is the best so far remove the Battenberg the reflective vinyl while it's still warm douse it with the tar glue remover kind of spread it in a little bit so that it can start to work its magic and then come back with a soft plastic paint scraper that I've just sharpened up the edge there a little bit made sure that there's no burrs or anything like that and then just scrape up like that and the bulk of the glue comes off just by this upward motion like that it's not all off but the bulk of it is off pretty satisfying love it Is the last piece of Battenberg reflective vinyl off the left side of the car and what I've noticed here you can probably just make out on the camera is that there is a line along the top here and that feels like a cut line so 
whichever job's worth, lazy so-and-so put this piece of reflective vinyl on, cut it to size in place. Um, I think the less said about that, the better. Oh well. The side is done. Let's move on to the other side. right hand side of the car seems to have taken much more of a battering than the left hand side and this is the only panel this front right wing front right fender some might call where the reflective vinyl has been actually damaging the paint it seems because unlike everywhere else where I've removed the reflective vinyl and been able to you know very quickly restore the paint with the tar film remover. This one here has left some marks actually in the paint, which is very unusual. I'm not talking about this dent that's there, which will need addressing. You can see where the damage was made and once again, Mr. I've got a knife cut <laughs> the old vinyl off and cut a new piece in place and you can see it's left these marks here. I suspect that this front right wing is going to need a little bit more attention because when you run your hand over it this is nice and smooth and this you can actually feel the roughness, the texture on the surface here. So unfortunately it's been damaged a bit over the years. Just one little bit to do behind the headlights on this front wing and then all of the reflective vinyl has been removed and then I can perhaps start polishing this up a bit and see if I can remove it. So let's crack on, we're almost there and it's time for a cup of tea. I will tell you this about this white reflective vinyl. It is extremely brittle compared to the green and it just gets everywhere on your fingers. glue just gets absolutely everywhere. Look at that! These big globlets of glue. Anyway, let's tidy this up. Such a shame that they cut into this paint. And there you go! All the reflective vinyl is off. Nice one. Now there are some remnants of the reflective vinyl still left on the car and this is mainly, I suspect, where super glue has been used to glue down the vinyl where it had it been lifting a little bit and will require a little bit more patience to remove. 
And this is what my Volvo XC70 looks like now after having removed all of the ambulance stickers and the reflective vinyl. Now I can get it ready for an MOT and put it back on the road. Don't forget, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more of my adventures in automobiles. Happy days.